Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Marcus Aurelius, and this is Mountain Blade Warband, Anno 1257. We have just taken another castle for the Roman Empire of Nicaea, which you saw in the previous episode, and one of the happy conclusions of that was that I am now officially engaged to Helena. <laughs> so you know things are going well when your digital avatar has a more advanced relationship status than than you do. But anyway, <laughs> I'm looking at my troops here, and I'm really poor on cavalry. They just die like crazy. I have one lancer, one mounted archer, and one mounted skirmisher, and I need to get cataphracts, and it's very difficult to do when they cannot survive five minutes. Now, I need to improve the surgery skill of one of my companions, and maybe myself, but my infantry seem to be doing quite fine. So, I'm not sure what to do. I think I'm going to have my mounted archers just move down for the time being and not be in battle. Although I did increase the size of the battles, so now hopefully the battles will be more interesting without little groups of 30 guys coming out one over the other. We have a lot of prisoners to sell, including one lord. Our budget's pretty good. Sardis is finally making its way. 1,000 gold plus a little over 100 for each of my breweries, so I'm only paying 775 for my troops. Morale is pretty good. Party size, again, is the biggest loss. Recent events, I assume because of a lot of people dying. You'll notice that my future father-in-law, Stratigos Mikhail Peleogos, likes me 11. And also the current marshal, Stratigos Ioannis Dukas, likes me 10. The emperor himself likes me 7, so maybe if our conquests continue, though now we're at war with two countries, the Latins and Hungary, I may be granted another fife, which is really exciting. And also, if you'll notice the quests, you will see that I have to go wed my beloved Helena. I'm waiting for him to hold his feast in Chonai, where hopefully I will win the tournament and make lots of money. So I'm really geeked out about this game right now because I've been watching some videos by a gentleman by the name of Arcade Knight. And he is playing this mod. He's playing England, so about as far away from the Byzantines as you can get. But he's playing it later in the game, like after about a year, or at least his videos are showing that. And I'm just so impressed. Like, I'm, I'm ready to go right now and upgrade my manor because it's a money maker. Like, he was showing how you can make a ton of money from manors, and he had like 100,000 ducats or florins or, or whatever the currency is called. And I was just amazed. And he was the marshal, and it just seemed so much fun. So the first thing I'm going to do is, now that I have no other tasks set for me, I'm going to... I'm going to avoid him, because they're all mercenaries, and mercenaries are generally very well armed. I'm going to go back home, and hopefully some of my men who are wounded will heal up. Eventually, I want to get some more companions, the ones you get from sitting at a campfire, the ones you can train to be really strong knights. I'm going to have my own little core of maybe three or four guys that are really well trained and can ride into battle with me. I think that'll be really neat. So that's what I'm going to do. i got to recruit some more cavalry. But another thing I was thinking of doing is that historically, the Empire of Nicaea fielded Mongolian cavalry. So I'm thinking that would be kind of cool to go into the Ilkhanate lands and pick up some Mongolian horse archers. Now, I've seen LPs of other people in this mod and other mods, and they've had troops from many nations all mixed together, and it didn't seem to have a very adverse effect on morale. So I am going to give it a try and see what happens. And I'm also going to go to my manor and have them give me some things in trade rather than in taxes. I know many of you have mentioned that in the comments section, but it's one thing to read it, and it's a whole other thing to watch someone else do it. You know, you fully understand it that way. So hopefully, I'm trying to turn Sardis into a castle as well, so that I could do some more fun stuff with that. So we'll see how things go. And of course, my new father-in-law is the Lord of Chonai, which is right in my backyard. And think about that for a second. I mean, this is how I'm geeking out here. What other game does this? I just read some poetry to the daughter of the future Byzantine emperor, Michael Paleogis, and he's now my father-in-law, and we're like buddies. 
I mean, that's just, I don't know what to say about that. That's just so cool. Like, what other game allows you to do that? It's like interacting with history, and it's just so fun. Who are you? Okay, let's see if I can get some horsies from Ephesus. 11. Perfect. And I think we'll stick with 11 for now, because I am low on money. Luckily, there's a tournament coming up. But let's head over to... Oh, and also, if I have a castle, I can build a, a jail, and I could store my prisoners in it so that they're less likely to run away. So that's really cool as well. Let's take a look at Sardis. Let's manage the village. I'm currently building a manor. I'm curious to see how that'll work. But six days though, so we're not quite there. How am I doing on food? Not bad. Wouldn't hurt to get some bread, I suppose. Elder, is there anything that I can do for you, sir? Hmm, he needs grain. Ah, no. That's that's kind of a boring quest. Sorry. Sorry, dude. I'm not entertained by your request for food, so I'm not going to be completing it. Sorry about that. But we are going to head over to our manor which we have to continually rediscover, hilariously. It's here somewhere, right? There we go. Oh! Again! Brigands! You caught us at a bad time. We just got back from the war. We're ready to take you out. Let's go here. Everyone, charge. Oh, wow. Out of my way, fool. Oh, missed. I think that's a better way of fighting than using the lance, but it's also more difficult. So I'm going to have to learn how to do it well. Get the sword ready. Or actually, there we go. There we go. Or actually, that was the horse. <laughs> oh, well. We're going to win anyway. What's the button to encourage your troops? I thought it was Z, but I guess it is not. Well, I guess the cool thing is my horse does damage now because it is a armored horse. Hey, get away from him. Wow, I'm terrible at this. Oh well, I'll just beat you up the old-fashioned way. You're just an archer. I'm not particularly worried about you. Hey, guys. Where y'all going? Oh. And, yeah. He's... Ooh, no. Okay. He's done for. And we have protected our manor from brigands. Yet again. We did, of course, lose a Greek archer. Well, that's okay. At least not a mounted archer. We gained some morale. Some renown. Let's see what we got here. Nothing too fancy, but we can get rid of some cheap stuff. Let's see, 67. Well, everything we have is pretty good here, but this is 147. Ooh, 200. All right, so these three we want. Okay, excellent. Yeah, and then this is, well, that's 60, 192. I got that price was arranged from top to bottom, but I guess it isn't. Okay, let's take... Where'd that go? Ah, take that. Anything here worth better than 67? Whoa! Whoa, 47. Not as good as mine, but still a good helmet. Let's let's take that, certainly. We might not sell it. We might give it to one of our companions. And that's about all I need. Okay. So we're going to walk around quickly, and we're going to tell... I believe I have a brewer. We're going to tell him to give me goods instead of taxes. The farms, they're not worth that much, so look at all the housing. Hey, this is it's growing. Pretty soon you guys are going to see a wall. Things are going to get really neat. But first, that's the farm, but I'm going to let him continue to pay taxes because grain is difficult to sell. Although I could use it for grain quests. Actually, 
We're poor enough right now that I guess it makes sense. Look at that guy. Look at him. He is beautiful. Okay, hello sir, Grain Master Peasant. I'd like to talk to you about your taxes. I like to treat my payment in goods. Goodbye. Actually, do you, have, you do have grain, but I need five for the village. And you only have four. Well, next time, I suppose. Back on the horse. Back on the... There we go. Alright, that's the well. I don't think this dude right here pays taxes. He's just a shopkeeper, I think. He may be a weaponsmith, though. That'd be awesome. No, you're an armorer. Well, let's see. No, no, we cannot have him. Well, we could sell stuff to him. Oh, but you don't have much money. Oh, well. Don't want to sell the helmet, though. That is... I'm keeping that. Wow, no one's ever become rich from selling things that you get from bandits. Goodbye. Alright. So, one of you, This is the brewery. It has to be. It has a little brewery thing on the side of it. There's my brewer. How you doing, buddy? Let's... Give me the ale. Thank you. Alright, so now in about a week we'll have things that we could sell, and we'll make a lot more money off of that than we will... What is this now? A little livestock farm? I guess we could sell pork and stuff, but that seems like kind of a hassle. Where's the guy that runs this place? Come on. Oh, there he is. There, wait, no. Are you... Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, magic! Look at me! I, have, I can do magic tricks! Oh, I'm running through. Okay. Neat. Oh, I get it. Okay, so you're... Oh, what an honor that you came to visit my stool. No, I'm not looking at your stool, buddy. I'm looking at your food. Hopefully they're not mixed together. All right, well, you don't want anything. Ah, okay, get off the roof. Or you, your tradesman too. Okay. Where's the guy who runs this place? You're just random folk. Okay, you're the fish guy. Alright, you're just a tradesman too, right? Yeah. You're the... You're the apple guy. And you're the beer guy. Alright, so... I guess this is the marketplace? So it's not actually a place that produces anything. I see. Alright. Fine. That house looks kind of special and unique. Oh look, I've got a little river! Neat! Oh, you're the fisherman, aren't you? Hello, fisherman. I'll take the fish, for now. I may set it back to taxes later, because I don't want to fill it up with worthless stuff. I'd rather fill it up with really good trade goods. Like wool and linen and stuff, once I'm able to do that. I have multiple wells. This manor's coming along. I think this is enough. So let's go see about recruiting some Mongols. But in the meantime, let's get some swordsmen. And I would like to see the skirmishers improve. I'm going to put the Lancer down the list a bit too. I'm going to keep him out of the battle. I'm just going to let my cavalry get experience just by traveling around with me. Let's see if Chonai has a slave trader. Kizikos, small bands of enemies. Interesting. No. What are you, Balkan mercenary range? No. Hey, madame. My men have had a rough time. Thank you for your help. Appreciate it. Oh, she's blonde. It's pretty unusual in this part of the world. She must be from somewhere else. Let's see. Guildmaster. Do you have a job? Caravan? Dunganon? 
That's some pretty good money. That must be like, Dunganon must be in Ireland or something. Sounds very Irish. Let's see. Leave. We'll be back soon enough to participate in the tournament in honor of my impending marriage. And boy, was she expensive. I mean, 19,000 gold to pay for her dowry or whatnot. And I thought the dad was supposed to pay for the dowry, but he only paid 7,000. Think about that for a minute. I can buy prostitutes for my entire army for 350 gold, give or take. And my wife cost 19,000. I could have, like, prostitutes for 10 years straight for the amount of money that that cost. Okay, Iconium's a city. I actually want to go to a castle because that's where cavalry are found. Ah, Ankara. That'll be a good one. That's the closest castle to me. These are just villages. Wow, Seleucia? Are they at war with the... I guess this always belonged to, so Amarnak's a castle. Oh, Ankara looks like a city, actually. We're, yeah, we're losing money. Is it a city or a castle? It looks like a castle. No, urban levies. Dang. What do you guys have here? Georgian horse archers. Ooh, you guys look cool. Too bad I don't have any money. Wandering Troubadour. I'm already married. I don't need to learn any more songs. Let's check out the arena real quick and see if there's any tournaments coming up anywhere. Hello, sir. I'm Marcus Aurelius. Look at my awesome male coat. No. Poland. Both of these are in Italy. Germany. France. Spain. Spain. And I don't know where Elbing is. But it's nowhere near me. All right, so this was a failure. This is actually a city. I need to find a castle. So it looks like the closest one is Ermanac. So that's where we will go. Really, we're out of food already? We eat like crazy. Let's go to Axera real quick and see if they have any num num nums for me. Mongolian horde. Okay. What do, what do these guys give you? Rural levies now. I don't know what their upgrade path is, but get some pork and some grain. Alright. So now my men will be able to eat well for a while. And also, that's the cool thing also about having my manor save the food is that I can just go there every once in a while and get food from there. Okay, see speed up a little bit on the way to Ermanac. Okay, Poland and the Holy Roman Empire aren't getting along. And here we come. Mongolian horse archers, maybe? Maybe? Excellent. Murtatos Anactopileon Cavalerii. Sure. Of course, now we're out of money. We are well out of money. The king of Armenia is the lord of this. He has a Catholic cross, or some kind of cross. All right, let's look at these guys. Oh, light spearmen. Oh, good. Mounted archers. Okay, here we go. Their morale is high. They have a little cross here. Does that mean that they are Christian? I mean, all of my guys are Christian. I don't understand. Can I talk to you? Tell me about yourself. Alright, so you guys... I don't get it. I don't get it. You don't look very Mongolian, though, I'll tell you that. I have 716 dinar. Oh, wow. I'm pretty much out of money. We are in bad shape, actually. Well, that was kind of useless. Maybe I have to go to a castle more on the interior, like Edessa or Ragia. But I'll keep these guys. They aren't hurting morale. Although I need money badly. It's not a good thing. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're just about the end of this video. So I will see you next time. 
on Marcus Aurelius LP plays Mountain Blade Warband, Anno 1257. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.